What's up, my dudes? These are my comic book pickups for September 7th. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with Marvel. First off, we have Spider-Man 2099 uh, Exodus Omega. This, I think this is the last issue um, for this little mini series. Um, and I do have, I did order the alpha issue, which started, which the one I missed, which started everything. So hopefully I'll get a better understanding of the story. So uh, then we have Alien issue one. Uh, this is a, a, a relaunch of Alien for Marvel. The last series was pretty good. And, you know, they're doing Predator now, too, so excited for all that. And then we have from Image now uh, that Texas Blood issue 17. Then we have the Walking Dead Deluxe issue 46, which is, which is just the Walking Dead uh, reprinted uh, in color. Nice cover stock. Let's see. Then we have a uh, twig issue five. Then we have time before time issue 16. <laughs> Looking like uh, Deadpool there <laughs> without his mask. Then we have uh, Starhenge Book 1, The Dragon and the Boar, Issue 3. Also a nice cover stock. Um, it's a three ninety nine book, so got a little prints there. Then we have Prodigy, The Icarus Society, Issue 3 by Mark Millar. This is the second uh, volume of the second series of Prodigy. <coughs> Then we have Metal Society issue five. Then we have Image, um, the thirtieth anniversary an anthology. This is issue. What issue is this? Um, it's a five ninety nine book, but what issue is this? I guess five, based on the barcode. Um. Guess not. I don't see the <laughs> the number on here. Oh, jeez, bro. I'm <laughs> five. <laughs> oh man. Uh, as you can see. Oh, you know what? And it says August, but it's September seventh. So, um, you know, comic books usually don't always release. A lot of times they don't release on the the dates that that they have listed. But here's some of the. Um, stories that they got here. Sorry about that. In this anthology, so I've been enjoying this a lot. And I think later on I'm gonna I have about another book that's from this anthology, and it wasn't a comic. It was an actually it's an actual trade or um a uh, graphic novel, short graphic novel. So it wasn't a comic series. Some nice art there different stories then we have the dead lucky issue two which is from the um gosh the same universe as a uh, <laughs> radiant black and i and i enjoyed the first issue so then we have uh, a town called terror issue six by steve niles then uh we have a new uh here's an issue one uh I think it's pronounced Antinoch. Antinoch. Um, not really sure what's about, but I picked it up on a whim because of the art. Art looks nice. Then now we're in Dark Horse, another issue one by my boy, Cullen Bunn. Uh, we got Shark, Shock Shop, sorry, Shock Shop issue one by Cullen Bunn. Let's 
to do. And now we're in Boom, and again by my boy Cullen Bunn, we got Basilisk issue 11. Um, and then we have from Boom again, Once in Future, uh, issue 29 by uh, Karen Gillen and Dan Mora. It's already on issue 29, which is nice. And then the graphic novel I was talking about earlier, um, so we got uh, Everyday Hero, Everyday Hero Machine Boy by, this is by Image, and like I said, it was in one, it was in their Image anthology, I believe, either the Image anthology or the um, Skybound X stuff, though, I think Skybound, this would have been a Skybound, oh no, so, so, you can see here, um, right there it says Skybound Comet. So, so it might have been on the Skybound X anthology stuff. So, uh, but yeah, it's um, twelve ninety nine, a little graphic novel. Uh, it didn't come out like as a series or or comic little comic series or anything. It's just a great straight graphic novel. And I like when Image does this and on other companies where they they'll release. Instead of like comic series, they'll do like a full graphic novel. And this one looks cool. It's pretty, pretty innocent, right? Um, but I know like the preview that I saw, I enjoyed a lot and I like the art, so. Yeah. And you know, it's a little smaller. It's not like comic book size, Twelve ninety nine. So yeah. Um, if I had to pick something for the week and I couldn't pick anything else, it would be this, the Everyday Hero Machine Boy. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.